know there's a writer's strike going on. Tell me, are there wardrobe and makeup people on strike? <laughs> <laughs> Today's Thursday. Aren't you usually a redhead on Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> Robin, seriously, how often does your hair change color, huh? Uh, the viewers think their TV is messed up or something? <laughs> Every week it's a different... All right. More! More! <laughs> okay, keep them coming! Pat, where's no, Pat? No, no, God. <laughs> what are you, the intern? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I give it up talk about a blast of the past. This was uh, when Jeff roasted <laughs> us. He's a good friend of the show. God, we all look like 20 years younger there. You look good. Uh, his latest work, Take a Banana for the Ride, is a hilarious and touching one-man <laughs> show celebrating the lives of his grandfather, his best friends, and his dog, and he joins us on set. How you doing? Hey, What's up? Good, good to, to see you. That was fun seeing you guys. Great to see you. You guys look exactly the same. I'm aging at uh, rapid yeah. speed. <laughs> Not yeah. true. No. Not true. So what and are you? Dean is cooking. What a what yeah. a what a world we got here. Isn't it exciting? Speaking of stuffed peppers, I love your dress. <laughs> 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 you look fantastic, Robin. Thank you. Yeah, you look both of you look great. <laughs> anyway, what'd you do for Halloween? I went out. I'm wearing my costume. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah. you look good. I'm dressed as Voldemort's lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Harry Potter reference, yeah, no, Larry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you go in the Museum of Science and Industry today. Yeah, it's a little bit of uh, research for the one-man show that I'm doing tonight at Park West. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, I talk about my grandfather. Uh, when I was starting out as a comic, my pop Jack, he was a, uh, he was a shipbuilder during World War II yeah. in Baltimore. This is his ring. It's no a way. steel bolt from a Nazi U-boat. No. And he was part of the crew that disassembled this captured Nazi U-boat oh, wow. that helped turn the war around yeah. during World War II. And uh, I always heard this story from my pop, Jack, and I watched a couple documentaries and figured out that that U-boat is in Chicago. Yeah. That's the one. And yeah. my show is the first performance of this show ever is tonight at 7. I was like, I got to go oh, yeah. to the museum. And just whenever I need a little pep talk, a little of that yeah. old world beater energy, I click the ring on something. I thought, yeah. I got to get to this boat. Yeah. And see it with my own eyes in honor That's of my so cool. in honor of Very my pop cool. Jack. So yeah. Chicago, it was oh, the shared. That, who's that? Is that your dad? That one's my dad. Oh, yep, God. that was my dad. Was he a roaster too? He was a wise guy. He was, was super he? funny guy, and he did all these. He, he was a caterer. I come from a long line of uh, caterers in New Jersey, and my dad eventually <laughs> took over the business, and and there he is. Oh Ronnie. my God! Yeah, we have some more photos. Let's uh, see what which photo is queued up next. Look at me. Let's take a look. This is so fun. And We're right on the money. Now. Here it goes. Right anytime go. Oh my gosh. One of my first Halloween costumes. What I, are you? I still can't figure out what I'm <laughs> supposed to be. Is that you in the be. middle? Yeah. I got a hand. I got my underwear on my pants, outside my pants. <laughs> you on the left. My, my kids are people too button on. I was kids very Kids are people too. Remember that one? Yeah. There's my sister and our friend. Oh my gosh. It's a little bit of a look back. I don't usually look back in my show. I'm yeah. not usually uh, vulnerable. Yeah. Uh, this but is I wanted to try something different. I lost three friends. Uh, I, lo I lost my parents as a young man. Yeah. And it sort of prepared me for losing my three comedy heroes right in a row. Saget, yeah. Bob Saget, Gilbert Gottfried, and Norm Aww. all kind of went right in a row. Yeah. And it made me uh, sentimental. I wanted to keep their names alive. So I started looking back at my own life and how I survived those losses. And I learned early on we're made to mourn. And move on. You can't mourn forever. And that's sort of the spirit of the show is moving forward, putting your foot on the gas. My grandfather used to give me money for the tolls and, uh, and say, take a banana for the ride. Uh, well, that's where it comes his from. His way of saying, I can't go with you, but I'm there with you in spirit. That's and great. Anything can happen in life, so be prepared. It's it's almost off-putting seeing you letting your guard down like this. It's kind of <laughs> nice though, Jeff. Oh, I thanks, mean, really. Rob. I mean, is it is it is it been cathartic for you? You know, at first it was torture. I really yeah. wasn't enjoying it. I felt like I was digging up these old memories, and I hadn't thought about my parents in decades and my grandfather. But then I started workshopping the show around, and I realized it was cathartic and helpful to others. 
Mm. And once I made that discovery, it got a lot easier. So now the show feels less about me and more about all of us. I want it to be a communal experience. That's really cool. A comedic orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> you, st you still do the roasting at the shows, or is that a separate kind of show? No, you know what? It's a good question. And I thought, like, what's the finale of the show? If it's not just about me, if it's yeah. about all of us, then I thought, well, who's going through something right now? Who has a challenge in their life? Who's celebrating something? Because some, as a son of caterers, life celebrations are important. Yeah. So I put the lights on. I asked people who might be going through something uh, to stand up and come up and get roasted. <laughs> and everybody tells me what's going on. I make fun of them. And if they behave, they get a banana. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. When you've done celebrity roasts, either officially or unofficially, was there somebody who didn't take it as well as you thought they might? You know, I, I, I almost, well. I know there's got to be someone. For the most part, yeah. they opt in, and once they buy a ticket or opt into a roast. Yeah. They know what they're getting. They're getting into it, and if they don't like it, they're crazy yeah. for opting in. That having been said, Ann Coulter wasn't the best sport. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she didn't seem to like it when we roasted Rob Lowe. Uh, and uh, other than that, I've been pretty lucky with picking safe targets. Yeah. <laughs> Even Donald Trump was a good sport when we roasted Donald Trump. Yeah. Go figure. Yeah. It's everybody gets a, you know, it's like, it, it is funny, though, how people think, a roast and a toast are the same. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. But it also shows it shows integrity yeah. if you can, yeah. you yes. know, like when I came out here swinging, whatever. You guys are laughing. I saw that old video of us from yeah. from when I roasted you guys. You guys were laughing because yeah. you have thick skin. You're decent human beings. Somebody who's so <laughs> thin skin who can't laugh at themselves. And one thing I say in the show, which is if you can laugh at yourself, you're one step closer to healing. That's yeah. true. And yeah. I believe that that's true. Well, yeah. you can catch an evening with Jeff Ross tonight. It's called Take a Banana for the Ride tonight at 7 p.m. at the Park West. West. Check out RoastmasterGeneral.com. <laughs> well, that's a good picture. It's 7 like o'clock you... tonight. I got to get ready. Get going. Yeah. <laughs> good to see you. I hope you all come out and uh, whoever wants to get roasted tonight that's can great. get roasted. <laughs> hey.